Okay, so in this video, what I'm going to do is show you what white balance is and its difference in RAW and in JPEG. So for this, I've taken a photo of a cactus in my garden and I've taken it in RAW and in JPEG. And as you can see, there's no difference in the actual image. There are only differences in JPEG. I've probably done a little bit more saturation in camera, uh, so that's where you can see it that way. Now, what you will notice is that once you go over, once you start editing your photos and you want to understand a bit more about the white balance, the white balance is all around about temperature. Whenever it's in JPEG, it doesn't record the actual temperature. So in Lightroom, all you've got is this kind of idea of where the warmth should be. And, and then there's also a bit of a tint as well, which you've got to try and figure out. So in, in JPEG, you don't have so much control over your white balance. What you can do is use a little eyedropper, try and find something that's white, like this little stone here, but not totally white, that is blown out. See, that one's blown out. So I need to try and find something... Maybe what was this in the background? There. Okay, so that's probably more of a white balance correct image that you've got in that now. And as you can see that's the temperature all the way up to 100% and the tint has changed. Now if we were to go into the raw image, when it was taken in raw it recorded the white balance which I'd already set on the camera uh, and as you can see it's got a very very cold temperature. So the lower the number the colder the temperature. It talks about in Kelvin which is the type of temperature um, like you know how you have uh, Celsius, centigrade, Fahrenheit, you also have Kelvin. Kelvin is starts from absolute zero, which is starts at zero and then it goes one, two, three, four, five. And so the temperature of water is something already like 175 or something. Uh, but anyway, so here it's given me the exact temperature that the photo was taken at and also a bit of tint that the camera put in itself. Now if I were to go to auto, the camera's chosen uh, a good light balance. You can see it was obviously too cold, so it's brought the temperature up a little bit to about 4,300. Normal daylight photography is usually around about the 5,000 mark, or 5,500. So let's see what it looks like there. So it's good as well. Uh, it's very little difference. It's um, just a really bit of you know warming up the photo that happened there. Again, if we were to go and find some white or grey bit there, there, see it's given it straight onto a mark of 5,000 for in the daylight. So that's, that's pretty good. Again, if you go mental with the uh, white balance, uh, for example, this one, I did a really high temperature of 8,800. And uh, as you can see, it looks like it's in a really hot place. So it's not necessarily giving you a bad image, but it's just not 100% accurate. But whenever you take it in JPEG, and if you've got it saturated up, it really kind of enhances the wrongness of your temperature, if that makes any sense. So here I'd have to bring the temperature down to around about minus 21 and maybe, let's see, change a bit of the tint to plus 5. So again, it's all just tiny little changes that affect your white balance. Uh, and in RAW and JPEG, um, there's only, they both record the temperature which you decided to take the photo at on the camera. And this is the final image where we took it at kind of, uh, I did it at an auto on the camera. And you can see it's given me around about 4,800. Again, I'd say that's pretty accurate. Let's see if we do the little dropper. And again, it's saying it should have been around about 5,000. So that's the most accurate colors, but initially being accurate isn't always the best thing. So sometimes change around is a bit more fun. So hope that's helped explain the difference between white balance in raw and in JPEG and how easy it is to edit it and also how kind of more accurate you can be with changing it by the individual degrees and Lightroom can go up to a ridiculously high temperature there. I'll do another video uh, regarding um, regarding white balance later on so you can get a bit of a better understanding about it. Thanks. Bye.